Yeah, Cosmos. You know what time it is. Let's see, yeah, I guess we're uh, a little bit uh, counting down right around the corner. And yeah, I, I, I don't even, I'm not even going to try to debate or, you know, think about how long it's been. But yeah, obviously I'm coming back. And <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, been quite a while. <laughs> Months even, probably like close to a year. But yeah, there I go. <laughs> I just said it, but <laughs> I did it anyway. But yeah, it's been uh, quite a while since I did, uh, since we got back to the shows. I'm trying to do the same for, uh, even had to, I'll have to suffer. Yeah. <laughs> even we had to laugh at that, but yeah, you, uh, AW, yeah, that's, uh, coming too. I've been trying to do it, but I was like, yeah, I'm gonna chill, you know, just relax a little bit, but we'll wait. But yeah, the road to WrestleMania is coming by. Let's get into what's gonna happen tonight. SmackDown. Let's get it. Just got finished with the match of, you know, uh, Braun Strowman and Rache versus the uh, Imperial. You know, in this uh, tag team championship uh, tournament, you know, the, the, you know, like a lot of times, you know, the every time that they, they like to do it. So we just got finished, uh, of course, with the, they was uh, just uh, rolling in with uh, Kayla, and uh, she was trying to talk to uh, Roman, and of course, uh, yeah, we're going to have to probably yeah, wait later on for, uh, for that. After, the, you know, they started off uh, in that in the opener. Roman Reigns, uh, you know, the bloodline already pulling up to the uh, arena. It, yeah, I can't wait for uh, that later on tonight. But, I mean, I, I know the plan is, yeah, because I just want to, like, uh, say a little something on this. I know the plan is for, because uh, I, I, I just want to kind of say, like, yeah, because I got something to, uh, later on, but... I mean, I know the plan is like, uh, and what I'm hearing too, like, of course, with well, like Sammy now going face, you know, them and uh, Kevin is going to team up, you know, like, uh, I mean, I don't understand because them like this whole tournament, having this whole tournament, because are they are gonna uh and possibly win, you know, Sammy and Kevin, they're going against the Usos, like heading into like the Elimination Chamber, I, you know, like, so I don't get. Yeah, I don't get the whole tag team. I mean, of course, that's that. You know, that's one of the things that they like to do with, uh, you know, the so-called be. You know, it's just it just speaks to the lack of uh, consistency, and like, uh, just like I said, I said it before. I don't, I don't care for it, and uh, just you know, championship matches shouldn't be. I I like I, I mean, I still, it's still at least that, but he's it's like it's still being done even with Triple H. That's why I said, and you know, you have excuses still being made for him, but yeah, like I have no business, you know, I, I have no idea why that, you know, I mean, I should would say say that why, but you know, still having tag team championship matches on regular shows makes no, you know, absolutely no sense why that should be, especially like uh, if you had already have because it already play a plan going forward uh, with another team. That supposedly is gonna win regardless. Take uh, you know, the Deuce of, like the Deuce is gonna drop it to somebody else regardless. So yeah, this whole tag team tournament makes no uh, sense for them to have to begin with. But yeah, it just goes to show you why the inconsistency. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but uh, it smells like Vince. Mc <laughs> it smells like Vince booking to me. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, real change. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we literally be getting the same shit for the past seven months. Yeah, but what, uh, yeah, again, uh, another championship match. And if that, a uh, world uh, championship match. Uh, oh my gosh, man. I, like I just, it's just like I just said, the inconsistency and the laziness. And, and like I said, what we just talked about, like uh, this past like Sunday, like literally that's the bloodline story and Roman Reigns is all they care about. And you got Triple H in the chair, but oh, but yeah, but you, know, you have the grueling Triple H nut hogs that will just, that will come on here, or you know they'll they'll come out of here out everywhere and force you to have you force you to believe that. You know, he, he's a true leader. He's so much better than Vince McMahon. He's saving WWE. 
so, so, so fucking gullible and retarded. <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah, well, it's just literally we've been getting, and, you know, it's triple, you know, in the Triple H way of booking. So it's like, like, what do you get? It's just that the, he's just focusing on the bloodline story and, and just, <laughs> just giving matches. And it's like, uh, I mean, I know they mentioned Rhea Ripley, of course, that she just run the Royal Rumble. I got more to I want to hit have that in a separate video. I'm not going to talk too much about, about it, but like I'm going to say like at least I mean they're fa they're facing off right now, right? Yeah, so they're getting ready for WrestleMania. It's like why not have her come to SmackDown and yeah, like begin you know, cap off the story and you know get get this like get this like, you know, you can get really this this storyline and get an angle, you know, a really intriguing angle to get the story, you know, already, or, you know, speeding hot into heels. I mean, just a pure mention of what's that going to do? So you, you just already see, you just already see the mistakes and inconsistencies, inconsistencies right there. It's like, so why, why not just start off it now? And, <laughs> like I said, I don't know, like, it could be doing it. Well, that's it. Like, like I, we want, I want the storyline to start off now, and, and like, and instead you have it like a championship match, a throwaway, uh, yeah, just a throwaway match. <sighs> Literally, like, no, just like no, just no logic, and just like you just you can just see it, just not even hiding at all, just pure lazy, pure lazy. It's like you have a champ, one of the champions. And they're gonna be at WrestleMania, and we—it's a championship on the regular show. It's like, 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 like again with the like this, you know, this lazy, shitty ass booking, and, and it's it's unacceptable. It's like you can be doing a, the story right now with Rhea Ripley and getting that rivalry started right now with Rhea Ripley and Charlotte, but instead we get this, <sighs> unacceptable. So of course tensions are high, the bloodline. Is in starting to be in turmoil, just as expected. Yeah, Roman is tense and he's pissed off and he's angry and looking for Jay. They pretty much uh, after Roman told Jimmy to find him. Yeah, they pretty much still can't find him. You know how? Yeah, especially where you know Jay is in the state that he's in right now, and Roman is pretty much going off to the ring to address some business or what's going on in the blood run right now. All right, yes, it is official. <laughs> Sami Zayn, yeah, Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn at the Elimination Chamber. Yep, as uh, as, I think I already mentioned before, but yeah, yeah it is official. They're throwing it down at the Elimination Chamber. <sighs> Roman and Sami, and I can't. Oh man, this is going to be a spectacular match, as it already is a very. Very, very uh, beautiful, gorgeous story being told. <laughs> and all throughout the night, practically the only, only damn thing to tune into SmackDown for, <laughs> for now, and as the as, yeah, as the days count down. Uh, oh my gosh, man, I'm gonna miss. <laughs> I'm, go I'm so gonna miss this, man. Oh my gosh. <sighs> SmackDown's gonna go back to being <laughs> literally shit, but. Uh, yeah, back it on to the subject. Yeah, Roman Reigns. Yeah, see, yeah, Sami Zayn is standing up for himself. He's had enough, and you know, being a bully and around. I don't know if I saw that before because he's practically happy to be begging and be happy to be in a bloodline. But I, yeah, I guess he's like, unlike the other bloodline, unlike the other that's being like, they, uh, he, it's not going to be uh, instead of being pushed down and you know bullied. And you know, to, like trying, you know, being manipulated. Oh, he's finally uh, standing up. And he's not gonna take that bullshit. And yeah, he's uh, gonna uh, take the one. You know, he's gonna attempt to take the one thing from Roman that he cares about that makes him relevant the most. The chat, yeah, the Universal Undisputed Universal WWE Championship Elimination Chamber. Oh, I can't wait. And yeah, all throughout the night. Yes, it's uh. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty. Uh, it's been pretty awesome so far, with the uh, bloodline story. <laughs> that is, yeah. Everything else is, you know, as you usually see, 
it's just basically, I do believe, yeah, it's obviously what people say is basically Triple H, he's basically copying, is basically AEW, only it's WWE. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, rest of the night, yeah, rest of the SmackDown was pretty much, you know, yeah, you uh, didn't miss anything. Your eyes didn't need to be else there besides the bloodline. We all know why we tuned in for SmackDown most uh, for tonight. And why we do for any episode. But, <laughs> yeah. How do you, uh, how it was going so far. And the surprise, uh, Jay was, I mean, he's still heartbroken, of course. But, yeah, I was I actually kind of expected him, even at the end. Kind of, kind of, kind of, he could have, uh, could have came at the end and, uh, showed a little bit. You know, he could have been crying. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, down the ramp, and they could have looked over and saw Jay. Yeah, they could have, like, done that, but I'm sure they'll do that down the line. But, yes, uh, this is, uh, such, it's a great story so far, like I said. And, yeah, Sammy's, yeah, he's looking like the top baby face in the company right now. More so over than Cody. But, uh, yeah, he's, well, it's, Sammy's come so, come so far. And, yeah, I'm a big fan yeah, really now a big fan of Sami Zayn. Just uh, like I said, yeah, it's been a, it's gonna be a ride so far. I'm gonna love the story. And but yeah, that does it for uh, <laughs> at least yeah, basically episode one against Sami Zayn against the Bloodline. And yeah, it was pretty. Uh, aside from that, <laughs> pretty much saves the show. To, you know, boring, terrible fucking show. But yeah, I guess I'll see y'all later. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, enjoy the rest of y'all night, and kick back. Stay blessed, y'all.